I'm Jeffrey Pang. I'm Kevin Pang. Call your neighbors, call your relatives, invite everyone over because today we're going to teach you how to make stir fry noodles. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Last season on Hunger Pangs, our most popular episode by far was fried rice, not surprisingly. And this season, my dad and I are gonna make another stir-fried, starchy deliciousness, stir-fried noodles. Now you can call it lo mein, chow mein, call it whatever you want. We like to call it stir-fried noodles and it's gonna be delicious. Now, dad, there are many, many different types of Chinese noodles out there, right? In the Northern China, the white noodle is more popular and the Southern China, they use a lot of yellow noodles. And today, we are going to use the yellow wheat flour noodles. So we're gonna use yellow wheat flour noodles, and you can find this in Chinatown. Very inexpensive, and uh, it's readily available. This is super easy to find. Yes. Now we're gonna incorporate the flavors of tasiu, which is barbecue pork that you can find in Chinatown. Now the reason that we're not using takeout tasiu, first of all, you might not live near a Chinatown, right? But second, and more importantly, we're gonna be incorporating those flavors of the marinade into the noodle sauce themselves. So mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna make a marinade and it's gonna taste pretty close to the real thing. So we're gonna start with three tablespoons of soy sauce. We're gonna put this in this bowl here. Mm -hmm. We have two tablespoons of oyster sauce. We also have two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. This is gonna add that sweetness to the marinade. We have a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. And lastly, this is a quarter teaspoon of five spice powder. And we're gonna whisk everything together. And now my dad has a pound of country-style boneless pork ribs, and this is sliced pretty thinly, right? It's about an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch yes. thick. So we're gonna put this into a Ziploc bag and we're gonna marinate this. Okay. And to that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of this marinade. Two, three. <laughs> Perfect. Now this next part is completely optional, but don't skip out on this. It makes all the difference in the world. This is liquid smoke. You smell that? Like cha siu? Yeah, a little bit like cha siu. It's, uh, it gives it that really wonderful woodsy smoky flavor. This is a quarter teaspoon of liquid smoke, and we're gonna add this into the marinade. Mm. We'll give it a stir. And this will need to marinate for at least 15 minutes, but no more than an hour. I told you this marinade is gonna be part of our sauce, and so we're going to add chicken broth. How much are we using here? This is a half cup of the chicken broth. Half cup of chicken broth. And we're also going to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. And what does this cornstarch do for the sauce? So the cornstarch is to make the sauce silky. Yeah, it makes it really silky. It gives it that very luscious feel. Mm -hmm. We use cornstarch all the time. All we're the time for Chinese cooking. And we're gonna let it hang there. Great, all right. Now we also have two cloves of minced garlic. And to that, we are going to add two teaspoons of freshly grated ginger. And we have half a teaspoon of vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Mix everything together. Let that hang out. And meanwhile, I'm gonna put the pork in the fridge. Once again, let it marinate for at least 15 minutes, but no more than an hour. I'll be right back. Now we're gonna prep the vegetables and like the fried rice, you can use any vegetables that you can find in the fridge, right? Yeah, open the fridge to see any leftover. Now today we're using fresh shiitake mushrooms. These have been cleaned and trimmed, cut in half or into one third pieces. We also have two bunches of scallions. The green parts have been cut into one inch pieces, like this, and the white part are thinly sliced, okay? 
Now we also have cabbage today. Uh, we're using Napa cabbage, but really you can use any type of cabbage, right? Yeah, you can use a Savoy cabbage or the red cabbage. Yeah, this recipe calls for one small Napa cabbage. Unfortunately, the ones that we found are totally humongous, so we're only using one half. But uh, And it looks like a lot, but I promise you this is going to wilt and uh, it's going to disappear into the noodles. So, Dad, can you show me how do you cut and prepare this cabbage? Okay. So, you take out the core. Take out the core first, okay. Like the V-shape. Take it out. Take out the core. And turn it and cut into the half. And then you cut into half inch of the strip. Okay. So like this. All right. Beautiful. Now again, this looks like a ton of cabbage, but I promise you, this will reduce into nothing at all. All right, we've got all our veg prep, and now it's time to get cooking. The pork has been marinating for about half an hour. We have the wok, we've got a teaspoon of vegetable oil, and we're gonna turn this up to high heat. And we're gonna be cooking this in two batches. And the key here is we really want the pork to get a good sear and a good color on it, okay? Can you see the smoke? Yep. It's time to put the pot. Okay, let me put half the pork in. Yeah. Woo! Okay. And we want this in a single layer. The presentational part of Chinese cooking is so important. The color, the texture, uh, that's important, right? And yes, so yes. a lot of times you really want it to let it hang out, resist the urge to touch it. Patience truly is the key. It's been about a minute. Now I can finally give it a stir. Look at that beautiful color that we're getting on here, right? And at this point, how much longer does, will this need to cook? Just about two to three minutes. Two, three minutes, great. Get all the sides here. Yes, see, it looks beautiful. It's been two to three minutes, but we're not done yet, right? I think now is the time to add the Shaoxing wine. Okay, we have two tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, and now you want to stir constantly for about 30 seconds, okay? Yes, not more than that. <laughs> you smell that? Yeah, this is the smell of Chinese cooking, right? <laughs> Smell like char siu. <laughs> it does smell a little bit like char siu. We use Shaoxing wine a lot for marinades, for cooking, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. For well, Chinese cooking. Yeah, it's a glutinous rice wine, and this is really the key to so much of good Chinese cooking is using Shaoxing wine. If you don't have it, you can also use a dry sherry, but Shaoxing wine is so readily available, you can get it for like under $10 at any supermarket. Yeah. All right, this looks done. We're gonna put this in the bowl. And we're gonna repeat this with the second batch. The pork's been cooked. We wiped the wok clean with a paper towel. There's a lot of like sugary gunk on there. We don't want it to taste like burnt, right? So we're gonna put this back on high heat. And my dad's going to add another teaspoon of oil, vegetable oil back into the wok. And now we're gonna cook the veg. We have the shiitake mushrooms. And then we also have the scallions as well. You might also be wondering why we're cooking this separately. Well, the reason is the vegetables and the meat cook at different rates. And if you throw everything into a wok all at once, it's gonna turn into a big bowl of mush and we don't want that. We want it to retain the texture and the flavor and we don't want the meat to dry out. Now you can see the liquid's coming out. Yep, and it's shrinking considerably, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. The more liquid it comes out, the more intensely flavorful the mushrooms are going to be. This looks good. Let's add the scallions. Okay, let's add the scallions. Yes. Goes in here. Hmm. And the whites, which we've sliced thinly. Mm -hmm. And this will take another two minutes or so to wilt and cook down. Mm -hmm. It looks okay now. I think we need to combine with the pot right now. Great, okay. Okay, great. We're gonna bring the wok back up to high heat. And as always, we're going to add a teaspoon of oil into the wok and wait until it gets smoking. With the Napa, it's gonna take about three to five minutes. We're looking for it to turn 
spotty brown, right? So we're going to add this into the wok. Great. You were telling me that when you were young, when you were like five, six years old, your mother, my grandma, would take you to the market and then afterwards she would always buy you noodles. But that's a one ton noodles. Oh, that's one ton one noodles. Ton, not, not the stir fry noodles. But it's still noodles. Still noodles. It's a yellow noodle. You should call you the king of noodles. <laughs> okay. Is that a good nickname? Just like you, like king of the chicken? I'm the king of chicken and he's the king of noodles. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. All right, this is looking good. You can start to see that. You see that we're starting to get a little bit of color. That's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. A little bit of color. And this is going to take maybe another minute or so. Yeah. Next, we're going to make a hole in the center of this wok. And you remember the ginger garlic mixture that we have earlier? We're going to add this to the center. Just like that. Now, this does not take long. It takes about 30 seconds, but mostly you want it to get aromatic. As soon as you can start smelling the ginger and garlic, mm -hmm. you know it's done. You can help it along by just pressing it, mashing it just like that. Okay, now mm -hmm. it's getting really aromatic. Now we're gonna stir everything together mm -hmm. like this. Now, as soon as this is ready, we're gonna add the mushroom and the pork and the scallions back into the wok mm -hmm. like this. Yes. Okay. Dump the whole thing in there. Yes. Get all that beautiful sauce. We oh. don't want it to waste it. And at the same time, we're gonna add the chicken broth and the marinade with the cornstarch in it. Mm -hmm. Add it into it. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and now, why don't you stir this here? And this will take about a minute. I mean, the sauce is almost gone. It's starting to bubble up. And as soon as you start to see it bubble up, yeah. you turn it off, you take it off the heat. And now comes the most important part of stir-fried noodles, the noodles. We've got a Dutch oven, four quarts of water boiling, and we have these fresh Chinese noodles, right? How long should this take to, to cook? It's about four minutes. Four minutes, okay. Yeah. Look at the packaging. What you don't want to do is mm -hmm. overcook it. This is not like dried pasta, yes. where it's going to take like 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Yes. Refer to the packaging. If you overcook this, it will turn gummy. It will turn gummy. Yeah, yeah. you don't want that, right? Yeah. Great. Okay, so let's leave this here for a few more minutes. Yeah. You need to stir sometimes, okay? Otherwise, they will stick together. Yeah, you don't want it to get clumpy. Yeah. Great. And how can you tell when the noodles are done? You can tell by the size of the noodle, they will be a little bit thicker, yeah. expanding. Yeah, but you don't want it to get too thick because otherwise, that's when it gets soft and gummy, you don't want yeah, it, yeah, right? Yeah. Now, meanwhile, I've got the pork, the vegetables, I've got it on just the barest of heat, it's still warm, and we're gonna be transferring this from the Dutch oven into the wok here. Now, normally, if you have a spider skimmer, that's great, otherwise, you wanna dump this into a colander, drain it. You don't really want any water, any moisture left in this. You want this to be fairly dry mm -hmm. by the time it goes into the wok. Let's get the noodles into the pork and veg. Show me what do you do? Because you, you have a sort of a very interesting yeah. way of uh, stir frying this. Okay. So what you have is you've got this extra long pair of chopsticks. You yes. usually have two pairs of chopsticks, right? And show me what you're doing. Yeah, you're gonna toss all the ingredients and noodles. Let them combine to together. Yeah. Look at this. You're getting the sauce to start yeah. sticking to the noodles, right? Yes, let the, let the ingredient go inside the noodles. Yeah, you're folding all the meat yes. and the vegetables into the noodles. Yes. This looks great. And just for good measure, we're going to add some chili garlic sauce. This is a tablespoon. I'm going to add that into it. If you don't have chili garlic sauce, you can use sambal or sriracha as well, but we like chili garlic sauce. This looks absolutely delicious. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at the sauce. It's just enrobing the noodles. It smells great. So the, you don't have char siu inside, right? We don't have char siu, but it actually smells like it, right? Yes. <laughs> it smells very smoky. Yeah, this is great. All right, now we're ready to serve. Yeah. And this is a two-man job here. So <laughs> take some of these noodles. Pile it. Oh, goodness me. Presentation is so key here mm -hmm. when it comes to Chinese cooking, really for all types of cooking. We're putting the toppings on top to make it look more 
bountiful, like there's more meats and vegetables, <laughs> right? And that's it, folks. Stir fry noodles, just like it came from a restaurant. Do you know why this is the best? Why is this the best? Because son and father cook together. Oh, gosh. That's it. Okay, my favorite command. I know you like mushrooms. Napa. I know you're liking Napa. You see, the Napa has practically disappeared. You can take that, I'll take mine as well too. Get more. It's okay, right? I'm a growing boy. <laughs> I need my energy. All right, let's try this. Let me take a bite. This is great. The noodles, not overcooked, right? The sauce, <clears throat> not too intense. What do you think? The shiitake mushroom is very, very good. The flavors are just, yes. I mean, it's really, really mm. intense. This is why we cooked it for a long time, for about five minutes, because it really shrinks down. You saw how thick they were to begin with, right? But mm. this is shrunk down and it's absorbed all that sauce and all that flavor, right? Yeah. Taste char siu, but no char siu. <laughs> Tastes like char siu, the barbecue pork, right? If you taste this, it's got this sweet, savory, a little bit of smoky flavor. This is a dish that you really can use anything or everything from the pantry or in your refrigerator. The key though, is don't cook it all at once, layer the time, and that's how you get really great stir fried noodles. So what's your favorite noodle dish? Let us know in the comments below. And for this recipe, go to americastestkitchen.com slash pang or scan this QR code. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe.